And thanks for joining us. The governor has announced a $1 billion effort to combat coronavirus. Our Amy Reed live at the state capitol to break down today's announcement. Amy. This money, which came from the Federal CARES Act, is being split into multi-million dollar chunks. Much of that will go to local and tribal public health departments and hospitals to help respond to this pandemic. More than half of the $1.9 billion the federal government approved for the state is going toward a new effort Governor Tony Evers announced Tuesday. The plan allocates millions each for testing, contact tracing, and personal protective equipment across the state. Securing and directing aid is the focus of the administration's statewide efforts since Republican lawmakers pushed back on his attempt to get a statewide rule in place. Yesterday, he said they've stopped trying. Today, he refocused on this effort, saying, quote, Regardless of the political overtones of the past week, we still know what we need to do to box in this virus and help keep people safe. Continuing, Wisconsin's safer at home order may have ended, but our all out war on this virus has not. The $1.1 billion is broken down over the different fronts. $260 million will go to testing efforts, including $202 million to send kits to Wisconsin hospitals, clinics, nursing homes, and public health departments so everyone who needs a test gets one. $75 million will go to contact tracing, the majority available to local and tribal public health departments to hire extra staff. $150 million goes to PPE, $40 million to ventilators, $200 million to state agencies, and $445 million to ensure Wisconsin hospital systems and communities are prepared to handle any surge in cases over the summer and fall. With this and the $75 million announced for small businesses yesterday, there's still about $600 million that Governor Evers still has to allocate. Now, agriculture groups have asked for some of that to help their industries, but nothing formal for agriculture has yet been announced. Amy Reed, live at the state capitol. Amy, thank you.